awesome, isn't it? Just one look at this monstrous Nissan Skyline GTR tells you why it got the nickname Godzilla. Built to Group A spec, the R32 was literally unbeatable, winning four back-to-back All Japan Touring Car Championships with a remarkable 29 wins from 29 starts. In Europe, the R32 took outright victory in the Spa 24 hours, while in Australia it romped to back-to-back wins in the Bathurst 1000. Wherever it went, Godzilla ate the opposition alive. When you consider its power and sophistication, you can see why. At its heart is a fire-breathing twin-turbo straight-six good for anywhere between 550 and 650 brake horsepower, transmitted through a five-speed dog box, all-wheel drive and four-wheel steer. Massive 10x18 rims shod with Bridgestone racing tyres fill its arches to the brim, while wide-track suspension set with crazy camber angles give it more visual impact than a punch in the face. Of the many racing R32s built by Nismo, this Calsonic sponsored car is the most iconic of all, thanks to winning the 90 and 93 JTC championships before finding pixelated immortality in the PlayStation game Gran Turismo. For me, and I suspect many of you, it's the Gran Turismo connection that makes this car the origin of the Skyline GTR's cult appeal. For Nissan, it's nothing short of a deity, which perhaps explains why until today, no journalist has ever been allowed to drive it. With this in mind, the thought of trying to get to grips with this magnificent monster in just a handful of laps is pretty daunting. Yet the privilege of driving one of the most awesome touring cars of all time is an opportunity you just have to relish. And so, after a cursory briefing from Nismo factory driver Katsuma Sachio, I'm strapped in and waved out for my shot behind the wheel of this brutal blue and white legend. drives exactly how it looks really you know quite physical quite aggressive yeah but 
yeah, the power delivery is so addictive because you're like, come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and the gear shift is really super quick because it's a dog box. So yeah. you just bang it through. The harder you use it, the better it the, the better the shift is. As soon as yeah. you think about it, you can sort of start fishing around for one. But yeah. bloody hell, what a great thing. <laughs> Jet yeah, that's yeah, the that's best cure for jet lag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, best cure for jet lag ever. <laughs> <laughs>